If you want to keep track of things visually, then one of the things that you can use is the timeline. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here onto the view section and over here you can see timeline is an option. If I were to go around and enable the timeline, you can see the timeline over here on the top. You can go around and then let's say click and drag around right here, the timeline section to see more of the timeline area right here, just like this. So now what you can do is you can go around onto a certain task that is very important to you and then you can add them out onto the timeline for you to see right here. And you can also see like where you lie. For example, you can see today being marked out visually right here. So let me just go around and right click on the brainstorm right here and then you can see add to timeline is an option. And if you were to go around and click on this, you can see that the brainstorm uh, uh, is uh, allocated right around over here, denoting the timeline for the brainstorm concept. Similarly, I can go around and add this to timeline and let's say, for example, add this to timeline and so forth. As you can see, I can add in individual tasks and you can see the um, uh, overall uh, details right here. Let me just go around onto production and add to timeline and you can see the entire production. Similarly, I'm going to go around over here and add this to timeline and you can see the whole uh, pre-production and the subtask over here just like this. Let me just go around and add in the shooting as well. So you can just go around, add this to timeline. You can select these out and add them to timeline right here. Uh, just by selecting everything, as you can see, let me just add them to timeline right here. And for the budgeting as well, let me just go around, add those to timeline uh, over here as well. And let me just go around over here and add those to timeline as well. And you can see that there, everything is shown in the timeline now. So you can see that uh, there's the pre-production, there's the brainstorm, storyline mm -hmm. and everything right here. And you can click on it and select it out and see all of the details right here on the timeline uh, along with the Gantt chart as you can see right here. And you can see that it is much more streamlined right here and you can see blocks of tasks right here that needs to be done. And you can also track where uh, you lie and you can also see the milestones as you can see one by one right here. And that is how you can add tasks to timeline and if you want to remove them, let's say for example, I don't want the uh, main task right here because I already have the subtask zone. I can simply go around over here and right click right here and then remove these from timeline as well. I can right click right here and remove this from timeline right here. And for the post production as well, let's just go around and remove them from the timeline. And this is what you have now. And that is how you can add and remove tasks um, to timeline and remove tasks from timeline inside of Microsoft project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.